Greetings everyone, Marky Joe 1990 here with another commentary. Um, we're back at stage three to show you guys the secret exit. So I'm not gonna fall down those brick things like I did before. And I'm actually gonna progress through the stage as I would normally. Oh man, food. <laughs> okay. Be prepared for a mid boss. Who's incredibly easy by the way. The main trick with beating this mid-boss is that you gotta know how to keep your distance. And when he makes that roar, he's gonna jump. And he just started humping the ground right there. Don't we have enough sexual innuendos in this game? I mean, jeez. Okay. And he just decided to jump as he died. And we get more food. This area just happened to have a lot of food for some reason, didn't it? Anyway, you guys have not seen this part before, but definitely grab the axe, because these guys right here, they spawn constantly, and they're a pain in the freaking ass if you don't use the axe against them. Plus, they get in the way when you're fighting normal enemies, and they spawn constantly. At least I think they do. None of them are... up. Oh, there we go. Okay. You go to hell. You go to hell, too. But you're his brother, so, you know, hug. I don't know. I'm not making sense. I rarely do, do I? Okay, the thief guy is near. Aha! There you are, you bastard! You thought you could steal my axe this time, did ya? Huh? Okay, next. In order to get to the secret exit, we need to do that. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that that was breakable. Hello there, Mr. Creepy Skull. I will not be seeing you again. <laughs> okay. The boss here is uh, really freaking easy. So, if you're having trouble against him, here is some massive professional gameplay tips told by your professional man, Marky Joe 1990 here. Also, um, that was a half-eaten piece of meat. Anyway, the boss here is Dogether. And, um, the main reason why I say he's easy is because, I don't know, I just beat him on my first try, so I figured he must be easy. <laughs> Thank you, Mark, you are so credible. <laughs> but yeah, if you have the axe against him, it just destroys him. Of course, I'm doing awful right now. Okay, here we go. He has a Kaizo Trap move. Um, which is a term I use to, you know, it's a move he uses after he's defeated when you think you've won. Kind of like how that one Kaizo trap in, like, ah, forget it. You, some of you will know what I mean. Back, wait, hang on. <laughs> Tradition. <laughs> anyway, that's all for stage three. Um... I guess I could show you the normal, normal exit, so I guess I'll do that. What the hell is this? Okay, we're back to where the, uh, thing branched. Oh. Well. Huh, I thought there was more to the stage. Huh. Alright, never mind. <laughs> 